Graham here again from Badlands Guitars and this is Joss. Oh, no it's not. Joss isn't here today. We've got a suitable replacement. Um, no, what I have got is, this gentleman here is Doug from Gordon Smith Guitars. Okay, You're not Gordon Smith, are you? I'm not Gordon Smith. No. Gordon Smith doesn't exist. No. Nope. Never has existed. But I'm so, Doug. So, How did the name come about then? Well, originally, back in 1974, when Gordon Smith started, there were two guys. There was John Smith and Gordon Whitten. So they got together and called it Gordon Smith. Um, they worked together um, by the time Gordon Smith changed hands and, and, and moved over to our business. But uh, um, they, they, as I understand it, Gordon had gone out for milk one day and never came back <laughs> because they'd had a bit of a bust up. Um, and John Smith just carried on, but used the name Gordon Smith uh, right the way through. Yeah, indeed. Yes, um, I'm sadly I'm old enough to remember the uh, the birth of Gordon Smith and, and right. all the early <laughs> days and uh, stuff that went on subsequently. Um, but now you are the man. You are the man of Gordon Smith. You are the face. You are the everything. Um, well, I'm one of a team. Yeah, uh, yeah. One of a team. There's, there's five of us now um, in the workshop. Ages, so. Well, yeah, but uh, um, but it is a, it's very much you know everybody no, has their their bit that they bring into the into the business yeah. and bring into yeah. the uh, um, into the workshop yeah. and the skills that they have. So the history, as, as Doug's just said, two guys set it, set it off, and I think just to your right there, this is a very early example. This is um, a, probably a late 70s. Yeah, I think so. Probably is. Doing. Uh, it would be one of the first because it was yeah. when Gordon Smith first started. They didn't make the thin line body, the thin yeah. body. Um, it was all the sort of 44 mil uh -huh. uh, body. So these will have come along. Uh, Funny enough, I was talking to Chris Smith about these from the original Gordon Smith team yeah. earlier this week. Um, so these actually started towards the back end of the 70s. Yeah. So this is probably a very early example of the uh, the thin-bodied uh, GS1. Yeah. I'm not sure the knobs are original. No, they're not original. original. <laughs> <laughs> so how and when did you get into Gordon Smith? I got involved with Gordon Smith about probably five years ago now when uh, John and Linda, so John Smith, the original founder, and, and his wife Linda were coming up to retirement, along with Chris Smith, who worked with them doing all the guitar setups. Um, and it sort of it came, it came to my attention that the business was, well, in effect, it was just going to close. I think they were just going to pull the shutters down and that was going to be it. And I'd grown up loving the bands that used Gordon Smith, loving the, the bands that played Gordon Smith, you know, the Buzzcocks and all that sort of stuff. So um, I had the Auden Guitars business um, and we'd got a workshop that had space and capacity in it. So I was able to get in touch with John and go and um, meet him and talk to him over a thousand cups of tea because um, he was a chain tea drinker um, and talk about what we could do, you know, to maybe keep the brand going. And uh, we came to an agreement and um, two of my guys went up and spent six months working in his workshop with him to find out his way of doing things. Incredibly clever guy, John Smith. And then we bought everything back, all the machinery back and the order book back, and we started making them uh, in Hyam Ferris, in, which is where we are now in Northamptonshire. Yeah. Um, and that would have been, yeah, getting on for five years ago now. Yeah. Going to this guy's workshop, and it is amazing because there's wooden benches, there's guys with pencils behind their ears, there's band saws, there's They're files, modern pencils. There's, yeah. <laughs> But it's but, woodworking, it's skilled, skilled woodworking equipment. And that's what I like because they're not mass produced, they're not even small production line produced, they are individual guitars. Built. It's very rare that we batch make anything. So pretty much every guitar from design through to the finished guitar is made as a one-off. Mm -hmm. um, we do use some technology. We do have a couple of small CNC machines that we use for just removing bulk of wood mm -hmm. or uh, particularly for inlay work, that sort of thing. Yeah. But it's small, it's, you know, they're, they're small little desktop machines. They're not, uh, they're not yeah. big, you know, they're not, we're not making thousands of guitars no, on them. No, that's Everything's right. made as a one-off and all of that final hand uh, final shaping is done and sanding is done by hand yeah. uh, using hand tools. Yeah. And you've recently updated your spray facility as well? We have, we've moved the spray room from one end of the building to the other end so it's in a more logical flow of work and, and it's a wider booth so we can get uh, yeah. um, you know more product through there but it also enables us to offer a wider range of finishes. Yeah. So the range of Gordon Smith? Yep. Yeah. You have got Four classic shapes that people recognise, yep. and then you've got what I call the Gordon Smith shapes. Yes, I yep. see it as sort of almost two halves. Right. Okay. So you've got a classic S, you've got a classic T. Yep. You've got a double horn, and you've mm -hmm. got a single horn, which is your graduate, basically. Yes, absolutely. Um, it's yep. the it's a Gordon Smith graduate, um, and people will look at it and say, "Oh, that's a LP or something else." But then we've got the double cuts, the single cuts, and the other sort of traditional Gordon Smith shapes, which 
how are you finding the, the sort of order book? Uh, it's, a, it's a balance and it always yeah. has been. It's always mm -hmm. been a mix and it's always been a balance. You know, but even even our you know our, our guitars that perhaps are a nod to more classic designs, they're still yeah. very much they've got Gordon Smith DNA. Yeah. You know, these are guitars that Gordon Smith have been making now for forty five yeah. uh, you know, over over forty five yeah, so years. You, so look at those two. This is the oh I know what that is. Yes. And this is the for the people that aren't educated in the GS more of a Gordon we'll Smith. Say, well that's nice, what is it? And yeah, yeah. that's yeah. That's very much but with it, with every guitar that we make, we want to put our own identity into it. So sure, we, yeah. you know, from things like because we wind all of our own pickups on in house, because we, yeah. um, you know, because of the, the the wood selections that we have, because we're able to paint guitars as a one off, uh, and offer whatever finish anybody wants, we're able to, um, yeah. yeah, to you know, to to put our own stamp of individuality and our own personality into everything that sure, we build. Yeah. Greatest thing you can say is, well, if you've actually got a dream guitar, if you've got a guitar yep. up here in your head, yep. I can talk to these guys and there's a 99% chance they'll be able to make that for you. Usually you imagine that we can build it. We do get the odd request that we just have yeah, to I mean, if it's, say no to. Totally off the wall, if it's a three neck yeah. firebird, then no, it's not going to happen. But <laughs> it, within the range of shapes, anything can be possible. Yeah, pretty much anything's possible. Um, and yeah. wood, well, you, met, you touched yeah. on wood. Let me just say there, um, a couple of examples that we've got, obviously a very nice quilt cap on this one. And if I can just delve behind me, I think I've got a rather nice flame as well. So, on that one, with that burst, we've got a very nice flame. Now, obviously, you've got a stock of wood, haven't you? We have a stock yep. of wood. Um, we, I mean, one thing also to say about woods is the, major, the vast majority of our bodies are single piece. <laughs> so you've got no glue, glue joints down the middle, no, it's not two piece, they're not three piece, they're single piece, um, which just helps the guitar sort of sure, keep yeah. its resonance and keep its, uh, yeah. you know, allow everything to flow through it. But, um, but yeah, we have wood stores and we have all sorts of options at different price points as well. So you could come in and you can specify or you can pick from our selection, you know, a, a solid cap, or you can go for a veneer option, or you can, uh, but you can select that piece of timber by coming into the workshop, coming into our wood store, um, and if there's something specific that you want that we haven't got, we can go and find it. Sure. You know, what, we, what we do find is that people that have bought a Gordon Smith from us quite often then buy a second Gordon Smith or a third Gordon Smith and end up with a collection of Gordon Smiths. Yeah. And uh, I think yeah. you've seen that here with some of your customers. Absolutely, yeah, we see um, it a lot. Um, also out on social media, you've got your own Facebook page. There's yep. a couple at least of other Gordon Smith uh, yep. Facebook pages that are fanatics, collectors, whatever. Yes. And there's one guy on there, he's always showing his, his settee full of Gordon Smiths. <laughs> There's uh, one guy that buys, I think, at least one Gordon Smith a week. He's yes, always got yeah. new stuff to show. And that's yeah. fantastic, yeah. you know, and those people are great ambassadors for what, mm. we're, what we're doing, you know. Um, yeah, yeah uh, absolutely. And, and what's been really, um, uh, really rewarding for us is to see that their uh, enthusiasm for the brand has continued from the old parting to built guitars through to what we're doing now in Hyam. So they've stayed loyal to the brand, they've they've been supportive of what we've done, they've welcomed us into the Gordon Smith community because you know it could have gone differently, you know, it could yep. have gone another way. Uh, but uh, but you know we're really grateful to the Gordon Smith uh, uh, guys, you know, supporters out there that have that have you know been so welcoming to us and, and you know enabled us to carry the brand forward. If people are looking on my wall and they have a look through there, they can see guitars starting at 799 mm -hmm. um, and going up to 2000 or above if they need to be. Um, but on average, the people that I'm dealing with that will want one built or I've chosen a theme, and we'll come back to that in a minute, um, their starting price generally is just under the £1,000. Yep. Um, and on average, they will go up to about £1,500. It's rare they go above that. Yeah. Um, because oh. you've got, when you spec it yourself, you look and you think, oh yeah, I will have, I'll have a, an ebony board, mm -hmm. I'll have a flame top. Um, but of course, there are so many options. If you go for a really thick, top quality quilt mm -hmm. cap that's solid, that's a lot of money in itself. Yeah. So you can, if you want, spec this thing to probably two and a half to three thousand. You can. Pounds. Yeah. I mean, you, you, there are, you know, there are there are caps out there mm. that you know we're paying three, four hundred dollars per cap for. Yeah. So you yeah. start to put that into a guitar, and the guitar price obviously goes up. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that one, for example, that's twelve hundred pound, mm -hmm. and I mean you can't say that's an average guitar. That's got a beautiful flame top, lovely paint job, bound edges, one piece back. Yeah, it's a lot of guitar. Single piece neck as well. So there's no yeah. headstock wings, there's no scarf join, there's yeah. no heel join. It's all cut from one piece of timber. And you always coil tap your pickups. Yep. Humbuckers. The humbuckers yeah. are always, and all of all of our pickups, of course, are wound in house as well. So yeah. um, it's something that we've spent a lot of time getting right, and uh, you know, working on the development of. And that is P 
P90s single P90s coils, single humbuckers, coils and humbuckers. Yeah. In any colour case, basically. Pretty much. Yeah, yeah pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. So, again, if you picked a classic T like this, um, but you're not a single coil man, not an issue for these guys. Hell, put, put what you want in it. Yeah, put a humbucker in, put a P90 yeah, in. Put put a, one of yeah. each, put two yeah. P90s in there. Anything you like. The Trans Red, yep. the Swamp Ash. Yeah. That is actually maple neck. A lot of people come in and think that's one of the and solid rose wood. Yeah, yeah, beautiful flame. Um, yeah, so that's what we call chocolate roasted. That's what we call caramel roasted. Yep. They do a skinny latte roasted. <laughs> Maybe next year. <laughs> Better get with it. Um, this malarkey. Brass nut. Yeah, it's brass nut on every Gordon Smith. Uh, right from the beginning and on every guitar that we make. It's the one thing we won't compromise on. No. Um, uh, Gordon Smith's come with a brass nut. Yeah. Um, it, we think it helps for clarity, we think it helps for uh, tuning, we think it helps for uh, you know the ring of the guitar, the resonance of the guitar. Um, and uh, yeah, if you, it's the one thing that we don't compromise on. We'll give, we give options on every other thing to do with the guitar build, from the pots that we use, to the knobs that we use, yeah. to the wood that we use, the colour, the, the timbers, yeah. all, you can choose everything, but it will come with a brass nut. So basically you've got a brass nut on the bench and the guitar's built around it. Yes, pretty much. <laughs> yes. <Yeah>. Excellent. <laughs> Anything in the pipeline exciting? Yeah, we've got uh, some new models that we're currently working on. We've got prototypes hanging in the ceiling, which is where we hang all of our projects to, cool. <laughs> to sanity test them. Um, so we've got some new guitar shapes, new guitar designs coming out. They'll, they'll probably hit first quarter of 2021. Cool. Um, and forever expanding our range of finishes yeah. and options and, uh, uh, and wood. Uh, you know, we're always out on the lookout for wood. And we've just, for example, yesterday bought another 100 billets of Swamp Ash, which is uh, going to be with us in the next week or so. Uh, and we're looking at uh, you know, a, a number of different supplies of, of very nice caps, you know, to, talking 5A grade, mm. you know, beautifully yeah. figured caps. Yeah. Which, again, if you are having a, a Goldsmith built, you are more than welcome to go up to Iron and pick your billet. You yep. can actually say, that's the, that's the piece of wood I want my guitar made of. It, and they're more than happy to do that for you. The workshop is always an open door. We run the workshop with an open door policy. So you're very welcome to come up. Even if you haven't placed an order yet, you're thinking about it and you want to see who these guys are before yeah. you place your order, come up to the workshop, spend some time with us. We'll take you right the way through the process from design to specifying the various components, picking the timber that you want to use, maybe even get you involved in winding your own pickups or all yeah, that sort yeah, of thing. Yeah. Um, you can watch the whole process right the way through, meet the team, see the guys that are actually going to be cutting the wood for your guitar, actually painting your guitar, the guy that's actually going to make the pickup. Meet the guys, meet the team, um, and then specify the guitar. Yeah. Now come on, that is pretty special. You've got to admit, where else can you have that done? You we'll even make a cup of tea. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, and if you buy from us, down here in Brighton, Gordon Smith Guitars at Badlands Guitars, once that guitar is in production, we will get you a train ticket to go up there and you can meet the guys and see your guitar in production as well. And that's all part of the service. Brilliant. That's, that's all part of it. It's a, it's a unique experience and a unique guitar. Well, Dougie, okay. thank you very much indeed. Uh, thank you. And, uh, Thanks for letting me come down. It's great to be down in Brighton. Great to see Gordon Smith's on the wall. And, uh, and it's great every time I come that there's some, some that were here last time, not here now. Yes. Which means they're getting, they're getting out there to the people yeah. of Brighton, yeah. which is great. No. Keep a look on our website. Keep a look on our Facebook page because they, they come. We get second-hand ones as well as new ones. So they're always out and about. Um, and if there's anything you fancy, just ring me or Doug and we'll have a chat and sort something out for you. But for now, it's Dougie from Gordon Smith and Graham from Badlands Guitars saying thank you very much. See Bye -bye. you next time. Cheers.